effective leaders shouldn't be afraid to strive for important goals. Let me reading my management textbooks. Nice. Come to help us collect more weeds. Thought you might want to see this. Stop the madness that drove his run. Declared plans affect our livelihood, our reputation, make your objections known. Found it on my windscreen at the pub last night. Anonymous, of course. Well, there's a lot of people out there that don't like what you're doing here. Hi, who's that? We're weed sprayers. We're subcontracted to the National Resource Protection Office. Never heard of them. Well, we got a copy of a letter here that they wrote to you last month. What's going on? They want to spray our weeds, poison them. You can't do that. We can, actually. You spray them over my dead body. Lady, I'm just doing my job. So am I. Come on, Jake, this is a waste of time. You know, they're only going to come back. What are you going to do then? I'll think of something. That'll push through. Do the heifers eat any of the weeds? I don't know. Well, they're not poisonous. They'll be OK. The heifers aren't mine, Stevie. They're Phil's. He's paying for them to graze on the good stuff, not that crap. And besides, they'll pick up seed, they'll spread it all through Kalani. I can't take the risk. Riles, move the whole lot into the west paddock, mate. Well, we haven't got any pasture left there. Oh, well, we'll have to hand feed them. Righto, you're the boss. I can't afford to keep moving the cattle around Grace's weeds. Yo, yeah, well, they'll be OK when the fence is fixed. Not if Phil gets wind of it. I've got to have a talk with her. And say what? It's not her fault there was a hole in the fence. I'm looking out for Kalani, Stevie. You've got a stake here now. I thought you'd understand. All right, look, I'll... I'll talk to her. Thanks. Fix the fence. Did you talk to Grace? It's not quite as easy, you know, Grace, when she gets her mind set on something. Well, so what? She just doesn't care? Well, Grace just wants the best for drivers. You can't blame her for that. You got your message about my cattle. What's the problem? Well, one of the fences was down on the drover's boundary, so... There was termites. It's a complete overhaul. It's yeah. going to take a while fix the fence so we had to move your cattle, but don't worry, Marcus is going to hand feed them. Well, as long as you're not charging me extra, it's OK by me. No, mate, it's on the house. <laughs> gotten out of hand, Stevie. If Phil finds out, he has every right to withdraw his cattle from a gistlin. Yeah, I know. He'll badmouth us and that's it. My big plan's screwed. And that'll be a fun phone call to make to Alex. Yo, yeah, well, I would explain things to him. You don't have to worry about that. So what? My sister-in-law explains to my brother why I'm not to blame for this mess? Come on, Stevie, you know how that sounds. Yeah, well, this is hard, Marcus. Grace reckons those weeds will solve Drover's water problems and I have to believe her. I don't want to be a bastard about this. But you either live here or you live at Drover's. You can't have it both ways. You have to choose. G'day. Marcus asked me to pass on a message. Must be important to get you all the way, Eddie. Phil wants a report on the heifers he's had moved now. 
He's already spoken to Marcus. He wants it in writing. My mate's forgotten his manners. I'm Mitch, former friend of Riley's. Gonna be hanging around for the day. Hi. Listen, I could probably knock something up for Phil if you're too busy. Figure he'd prefer all the troughs working first. Okay. Bloody hell, how'd they get in there? What? The bulls, they're in with Phil's heifers. So? We get friendly with them, we're in all sorts of trouble. Get on the phone to Marcus, give us a hand here. Ah! Ah! You right? Uh, yeah. Yes, yes, I'm fine. Go, go, go. Damn it. Yeah, through the cocky gate. I don't know how long they're in there for. Fantastic. I like to feel here's about this. Am I missing something? Bulls, cows, what's the problem? The heifers are too small to carry a car full term. Could kill them. And then Kalani would be liable. Yeah, well, would never happen if we didn't have to keep Minnie. Come out and check all your heifers. You'll be paying a lot more if any of them are in calf. No, nah, forget it. I'm pulling my contract. This isn't worth the hassle. Well, what if we give you a discount then? Like a big discount? At this stage of the game, you couldn't pay me. Come on, mate, we can work something out. No, I am taking my cattle somewhere else to be adjusted, and I want them all back by this afternoon. And you can do us all a favour and pull Grace into line. next to me. Is that so? Well, if you play your cards right. Stevie will turn up for breakfast, you'll chat, come to some sort of brilliant decision on the whole weed project and everything will be back to normal. You forgot to mention the rain. Oh, yeah, and it rains. Bucket loads. Sorry, didn't know you had company. Let me guess why you're here. We need to talk about the wetlands project. It's kind of urgent. I think it can wait till tomorrow, don't you? First thing then, I'll leave you to it. <laughs> 